right guys welcome back to the channel i'm in my garage today i'm gonna attempt to replace the steering wheel on my audi tt as you have seen in my previous video i bought this very nice carbon fiber uh, steering wheel so i can't wait for for that upgrade i'm gonna try to explain every step and um in case you want to do it yourself but uh let's see how it goes it's not um straightforward process because there's the airbag and you know you have to be very careful but i think we can do it so uh let's give it a try all right so the first thing you want to do is turn the steering wheel 90 degrees to the left that's so that you can access the screws that are right behind it i'm gonna try to get that on camera as soon as i start that and then the obvious next step is to disconnect the battery so that you don't get any issues with the airbag. So I'm gonna proceed to do that now. So All right, so the battery is disconnected. I got the uh, positive here in a position where it won't make contact. I'm gonna leave it probably about 10 minutes to make sure that there's no charge in the system. And, uh, and then we're gonna go and proceed with the, uh, the steering wheel. All right, let's get on with the steering wheel. The first thing you need to do, like I said, you need to remove a couple of screws that are sitting just behind the steering wheel. I'm gonna try to get my light there. See if I can get it on camera. I think you can see it there. It's a T30 Torx, and there's another one in the top, just two of them, and that will get off the um, the face plate so that then you can disconnect the airbag. So let's get on with that. All right, guys, I said T30 before, but it's not a T30, it's a T27. That's the one you need for the two screws behind the steering wheel, T27 Torx. adapter with your hand and then it, it will come up quite easily or so I think let's see get this on camera so uh, let me grab the camera all right guys so this is the um, the airbag connection and then it goes into the steering wheel column I'm gonna try to disconnect this one first hopefully everything will be okay and um, and then the airbag will be out and then we're off to removing the steering wheel let's see how easy or hard that will be all right guys so instead of removing the one that it's here attached to the uh, the the actual um harness here you're gonna remove the one attached to the steering column so it's two let me try to get that on camera two tabs and then you pull and then it's out yeah so um that was easy yeah and then we proceed to get it fully out all right next thing you want to do because this is a uh, there's a cable that goes into the column and you can't disconnect that so you do actually need to disconnect this one too so you just lift up this part 
and then the whole thing will come out it's a blue connector it came out yeah there you go so um that's it it's off so airbag fully removed and um now the fun begins that's uh all right guys yes it's a t55 goes in perfectly there and um yeah i hope this will be easy let's try it all right guys the t55 let's give it a try that was easy and i'm so looking forward to this this is an upgrade that i've been looking forward to for quite some time it will give the car a completely different look so there you go that's the screw yeah it's a bit shallow not too deep so um, that's great so therefore this should be ready to come out and it did there you go there goes my uh, baseball leather moccasin um, steering wheel I love it don't get me wrong, it looks great, but the new one is going to look amazing. So I'm going to keep this one um, in case I change my mind or I don't know. I'll never sell this car, so I don't know what I'm talking about. So, all right, I'm going to clean up a little bit and on with the new one. I did the unboxing video already, but I'm still excited every time I open this box. So my new steering wheel yeah that looks great so happy can't wait for this to be in oh look at it in the sun oh nice it's gonna look great and i hope that connects easily that's gonna be the next challenge let's see how easy this is to connect find the two screws that we remove in the beginning just to position it perfectly it's right there and um, yeah just uh, screw it in hopefully that will be easy see guys yeah it's got um two tabs here on the side yellow those need to come in somehow and uh, oh yeah of course I have to lift this up same like the other it's just that it looks different because it's a different color so let me do that now all right I was able to finally connect it all you need to do is um, take this yellow part with a very small screwdriver sort of lift it and then it opens up the tabs and then you can push it in and it clicks into place so, so that's cool and now we need to connect the uh, the actual airbag to the car the steering column the cable is not as long as the factory one that should be okay Okay guys, so um, it's been sorted. Now it's a matter of um, uh, screwing the little screws in the back again and fix this into place. And um, very soon we're gonna see the final result. That looks great already. Okay, let's reconnect the battery. Give it a few moments before turning on the car and um, seeing the end result. Can't wait. Alright guys, look at it, I'm super happy, it looks amazing, very very happy with the result, yeah, can't wait to get it out on a ride, that's gonna be super cool.
就。